left Halls Creek this morning, had a quick overnight stop there, got a bit late coming off the Tanami last night, so we seek refuge in the caravan park. Pulled up next to one of the funny old couples you see cruising around in the caravan, had a heap of stories for us, give us a few hot tips for a bit further up north. So we're just on our way to the Bungle Bungles at the moment, at the Pernalulu National Park. Got, um, we're gonna stay out there for three nights, so go and check out some of the walking trails, see what else there is to offer out there. Excited, love? Yeah, it should be good. Let the wife have a bit of a drive this morning, so I can have a bit of a look around. There's plenty of interesting scenery to have a look at around here. Here we are, love, at the entry. Just gonna go check out some signage. There's a big sign over there that says, things to know about Pernalulu. So we'll go, go find out what we gotta know. Very excited. Yeah, can't wait. So, love, where are we going? Where are we going? We are going with Matt over here. So we are, I don't know, we're entered over here somewhere. It's not quite on it yet. Got a fair old trek in, and we're gonna camp all the way down here at the Waladi campground. Nice. And then spend a few days just exploring, exploring whatever. Everything. Should be good, eh? Very good. Just trying to get the shot. This is camp for the next three days, love. Yay. Looking very relaxed there. I am. Finding a change, you don't actually have to set up and pack up just in one day. We've done so much drive in the last week. So it's good just to be able to camp out for a day. Not a bad little spot. Quite a few other campers around, but we'll deal with it. So there's a couple of different sections here. We are in the no generator zone. Um, just a little bit further down, oh you can't see it so I won't bother, but a little bit further down there is a generator zone as well, so we'll chill out here for the good. next few days, explore the Pernalulu National Park. Stunning. It was a good drive in too. Good drive in? Really good drive in. Caitlin did quite a bit of driving today and got to go through quite a few river crossings. Keen love. Bloody oath.
you think it could be gorgeous? Huh? It's pretty amazing. I think you found the perfect location and you just find a better spot to stand. You've got to go all the way around. It's just amazing. It's not bad. Can't really see anything out the other side of it. I'm not allowed to climb up there, so I don't really know what's actually on the other side to see. But it's pretty it's awesome. Walking. It's getting a bit warm. I think we're not gonna we're not gonna go all the way to Whip Snake Gorge today. I don't think it's a bit too hot. So mm. we might turn around and make it's our very way back to the car park. But can't no, complain. No. Very nice. So, we're just on the first part of the trail on the way to Mini Palms Gorge at the moment. It's definitely warming up super quick. How are you feeling this morning, love? All right. All right, just all right? Just all right. Just all right. We had a pretty big day yesterday, so we're feeling a little bit knackered this morning. The legs are burning a little bit, so we'll just wander our way in now and see how fit we're feeling, whether we make our way out to Homestead Valley after that and then check out the Kidna Chasm last. One kilometre. 1.1 to go. It's a pretty interesting sound. One frog hole. The trail is closed, unfortunately. Frog hole's going to have to have a miss today. Off to Mini Palms Gorge. Not there. No. <sighs> there <it is. sighs> Bit of a Some tight squeeze. <laughs> tight squeeze, isn't it? Yeah. Look at this place. How oh, cool. Far out. Yep, there's a trail marker.
Well, we made it to the end of the echidna chasm. We didn't get squashed. Yeah. Yeah, she reckons. <laughs> Trying to get a few shots looking up. What a specky view. Hot tip though, we probably wouldn't have walked in. We ran into an old couple on the way out. They said, when you get to the first little viewing area, just keep going. He said, unless you find a couple of ladders, you haven't got to the end. So it does actually get to a bit, a bit where it looks like you probably shouldn't go any further, um, but he was dead right. Keep going till you find the ladders and you come all the way into here. Right, hey. Just past the visitor centre on the way out of the Pernalulu National Park. What a magic three days. They were really good. Really good. Plenty to explore. We didn't quite get to see all of it, unfortunately. We sort of, a bit of A, ran out of time. B, it was stinking hot. Just sort of couldn't really fit it all in, but what we saw not was pretty to good. Not tired legs. <laughs> tired legs, yeah. We're not the fittest. We don't really do too much walking. So, but anyway, we got the 53k trek. Now on the way out of the park, heading a bit further north, we're going to stop through Kununurra, grab some supplies and make our way down to Lake Argyle. But what we did see was amazing, yeah. like unreal. Yeah, take your time, don't ever be yeah, in a rush. Yeah, if you ever come down here, you need to just like take your time and really take it in because it's amazing. Anyway, if you haven't been here yet, get here, check it out. <laughs> 